We're gonna explore why the Quest 3 is your new best friend for movie nights and how to make the most of it. Do you remember the early days of VR? Watching a full-length movie or show was a pixelated, uncomfortable challenge, so not very viable. The resolution wasn't up to par and you had to be tethered to your PC, so why even bother when you had a perfectly good monitor? But now for the first time, I can confidently say that the Quest 3 is changing the game, or should I say movie. The main reason is that the resolution and clarity now do justice to the movies, like 4K content looks amazing, plus it's wider viewed of view, minimal lens distractions because pancake lenses and that sweet sweet wireless freedom, it's finally decent to watch full length movies on this thing. But that's not even the main reasons why you should give movie watching on Quest 3 a shot. Allow me to show you what's possible now before we dive into the best ways. Basically, your VR headset can transform into a huge cinema screen, one that can conveniently fit inside your backpack. With the right apps, you have the power to adjust that screen size and position it wherever you want. So imagine doing this. You're comfortably lying down, watching your favorite film on your bedroom ceiling in Color Pass True. Or if you want zero distraction, you can pick whatever environment you want to watch a movie in, like in a nice futuristic office or even on the moon. Say goodbye to fighting your siblings over control of the big TV, or when you're doing mundane tasks, you could watch something wearing the headset. And of course, this is also great when life takes you on the road, whether it's a train journey or a flight to far off lands. The magic doesn't end there either. Soon, we will also get real time luminescence, this ambient light you see here, and it's going to work in pass through, which looks nothing short of amazing. Convinced? I'm going to show you the best ways to do all this right now, so grab your popcorn and join me beyond reality. Let's kick off with an option that's not just easy, but also free, the built-in MetaQuest browser app. This one lets you watch content in pass-through mode, meaning you can pull the window around and perch it anywhere. Say, on your wall, above your dinner table, or wherever suits your fancy. This is actually the best way to watch videos on YouTube. The YouTube app that you have to install limits you to low resolution. So instead, I recommend sticking with the Meta browser. As it lets you select higher qualities like 4K, you should give it a try. It's a feast for the eyes. Here's a tip though. If you click on quick settings, the clock icon right here, you will find the switch view option. This transforms your window into a larger canvas that you can resize to your heart's content. And if you want to drag it around, simply grab the bottom border. This browser also plays well with Plex and a few other streaming services. However, not everything's compatible like Netflix. Yes, there is a Netflix app to install, but that one is also low resolution. Then you can also sideload the Android Netflix app, but that one is also not great. So what is the best way to binge on Netflix? Well, turns out streaming via PC is our hero. At least until Netflix gets its act together and updates their app. In the meantime, you can use virtual desktop. Many of us use VD to stream PC VR games, but you can also use it to stream your desktop. So yes, you are going to need a PC for this, but think of it as your little home cinema server. Because you don't need to be in the same room as your PC to watch, as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And Netflix can play in high resolution on this, which is just pure eye candy. One of the reasons I also like virtual desktop is its crystal clear environments like the one I show here, which is my favorite. VD isn't free though, it's uh, 20 bucks, but I think it's worth it, especially if you use PC VR streaming too. Now switching gears a bit, there's another app that kind of does the same thing except for Netflix. However, it's free. This one is called Big Screen VR. It can also stream your desktop, except it doesn't work with Netflix as it will show you a black screen. But what does set big screen apart for me is its variety. You can jump into TV channels for some spontaneous viewing or even purchase movies. Plus, the community is great. You can join a public screening and chat with VR fans from around the world or keep things low key with a private session. And here's the cherry on top, big screen lets you host movie nights with your friends. You can just invite them and that's a feature that virtual desktop doesn't offer. 
For the best movie quality though, like that's crisp 4K, transferring the film or show directly to your headset is the way to go. Transferring is straightforward using a USB cable with your PC and if you have developer mode enabled, SideQuest is also an option. Then for the playback on the headset, we've got a few killer apps to consider, Skybox VR, 4X VR, Moon VR Player and Dio VR. Now Skybox VR is my favorite primarily because of its flexibility. It's got pass-through viewing, screen resizing and repositioning, so whether you want a full-blown IMAX experience on your wall or a snug movie night in bed, Skybox has got you covered. I took it for a spin last night and it got so comfy that I fell asleep and also Cherry was fast asleep and didn't even realize I was doing it. Pro tip, try the moon environment, it has some dreamy ambient light. It is priced at about 10 bucks but the quality you get makes it worth it. Now if you want to splash a little bit more, we have 4X VR. It's a newbie on App Lab and it gives an hour long trial to start, then it comes with a $30 price tag, which is steep for a media player, but it's got some features that you don't see anywhere else. Like the ability to plug in USB drives directly into the headset and then play video files from there, which could be a lifesaver for your Quest's storage. Plus, this app's got mad love for file formats, so if you need all that, this could be your app. I don't need that app actually because I use this other thing that is supported by most of these apps which is network sharing. That's also an awesome option to watch movies as you don't need to move files around so much. So if you use SMB, Plex or another DLNA media server, this should work. Like I've set up a Plex server on my NAS and Skybox picked it up right away. I highly recommend googling media servers if you haven't tried it yet as it makes sharing binge worthy shows so much easier. Now the last and one of the coolest perks of watching movies with a VR headset is that they come with built in 3D glasses. This means you can dive into 3D movies and videos without any extra gear. The Quest 3 ups the 3D game compared to the Quest to you get an almost edge-to-edge -edge clarity, meaning less head movement needed, and it looks great. Now all the apps I've mentioned offer support for side-by-side -side 3D movies. Once you load up a 3D movie file on these apps, activating the 3D mode is easy. Just find and select the right settings. Some apps like 4X VR go above and beyond with additional features, but that might be overkill for the average viewer. So yeah, we're making leaps in VR for movie watching, but we still got a little ways to go. Like I can't wait for the day when we finally get OLED screens on standalone headsets and remember that real time luminescence I teased earlier? Well right now that ambience is only available in a non pass through mode. But the developers of Moon VR Player, alongside another dev, are working on making this available in pass through. I can't wait because it looks amazing. Let me know if you're going to try watching movies on Quest 3 now or if you're already a pro, let us know your tips down below. If you want more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button to support us tremendously.